This is another one of those videos that really could have two titles. Learn Excel from Mr. Excel Podcast, episode 2491. Smart Roster stops exporting to Word with a solution. Or, Learn Excel from Mr. Excel Podcast, episode 2491. Bill, my computer doesn't offer to unblock macros. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jelen. There's two points to this video uh, this weekend. The first one is for anyone who's watching video number 2485, where I showed about the new Microsoft policy of blocking macros if the file came from the web and how you go into properties and unblock. I'm getting a lot of people saying, I don't have the option to unblock. And I think the solution that I'm going to offer to the smart roster folks is going to help you as well. Primarily here, I'm creating this video for other people who are using Smart Roster. This is some software out of Australia. It's been around forever. It's being used by nonprofits to create schedules, church scheduling, museum scheduling. Anytime you have a whole bunch of volunteers who have, you know, all kinds of weird schedules, Smart Roster will help you to to plan things out. It's you know, it's an exe, right? We don't know what's going on behind the scenes, but we do know that for years, Smart Roster has been successfully working. You build your schedule, you fill the vacancies, and then you're finally done. It's a thankless job, so I'm gonna thank you, whoever you are, for doing your scheduling. I know you know there's a team of us doing our scheduling, and uh, boy, it's so frustrating. And then you're finally done, and you click this Export to Word button, and this button has been working forever. You didn't buy a new computer, you didn't buy a new version of Office, just all of a sudden now, Microsoft has decided to become super vigilant. And they're now warning you, Microsoft Word Security Notice. Microsoft Office has identified a potential security concern. They have blocked macros from running because the source of the file is untrusted. And it points to this long file path here. See users, that little bit of the file path is going to be different for everyone. App data, local, Microsoft, Windows, Netcache, blah, 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 blah. And it's this temp file. All right. So as near as I can tell, behind the scenes, when we click Export to Word, Smart Roster is doing two things. First, they're creating some VB script. And then they must be on the fly <laughs> creating a Word document with a very short macro that runs the VB script. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I can't find exactly where that file is going, uh, which prevents me from going in and using the solution from 2485 to unblock the macros. And for you smart roster customer out there, I share your frustration. You're just trying to get the schedules published. All of a sudden, it won't work. But I found a solution that worked for us, and hopefully it'll work for you. Here we go. All right, what we have to do is we have to go into Word and then File options trust center trust center settings trusted locations and add a new location and so i type that whole path it's gonna be different for everyone of course because of their user id choose subfolders for this location are also trusted made a note for myself i did this for smart roster click ok click ok Click OK, right? And then completely close Word. Come back here, display your calendar. And now if we choose Word, we get the notice. But Word does open and it does successfully create the calendar, which is great. Uh, this window is here the whole time. You definitely don't want to click Disable Macros. And then once your scheduling is done for the quarter or for the month, then you won't be using Smart Roster again for a while, go back into File, Options, Trust Center, Trust Center Settings, Trusted Locations, click on that location and remove so that way no other programs can run macros in that folder. You'll just have to make a note to remind yourself next quarter to put the trusted location back. All right, so there you go. That's uh, one other approach to try and get those macros to run is to set up a trusted location that is basically an apparent folder that will include wherever that macro is going to be stored. Uh, the steps here, again, you might want to pause the video here and screenshot this so you can uh, follow along. Open Word or Excel or PowerPoint, wherever the macro is being blocked. Go into File, Options, 
Along the left near the bottom, choose Trust Center. And then in the middle right of the dialog, choose Trust Center Settings. Then back on the left near the top, Trusted Locations. Down to the bottom right, Add New Location. Type the correct path. You have to be really careful to get that. You know, you probably screenshot it from Smart Roster or wherever. And you don't need the whole path, just, you know, enough. So that way, in my case, I went to Windows. I didn't keep going on beyond that. And then um, because I didn't type the entire path, I ch chose subfolders of this location are also trusted. Uh, type a comment to remind yourself of why you added this trusted location. That way, years from now, you know, you're like, what? why did I do this? Click OK to finish adding the location. Click OK to close the Trust Center. Click OK to close options. Close Word or Excel or PowerPoint. The trusted locations seem to be unique to each. So depending on which macro is being blocked, in the Smart Roster case, it was a Word macro. Um, but most of my viewers are Excel folks, or you might be in PowerPoint. And then try exporting the calendar again or you know, doing whatever you need to do to run the macro again. There you go. Hopefully that uh, helps all the smart roster folks or just anyone who's having problems with this new Microsoft policy of blocking macros that have what they call the mark of the web. Although in this case, it, it clearly isn't coming from the web. It's being generated on the fly. Uh, you know, whatever. All right. Well, hey, I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.